welcome back the settings icon that i will be talking about for 2024 which is the name of it it's um the great wall of china you must understand there is two wall there is berlin wall <clears throat> and there is the great wall of china so this one its name make sure you write it in the right way it's a great wall of china it's in china uh make sure you familiarize yourself with the picture of it so the great wall of china it has if you see the shape of it it's built like a castle uh also on the side on the side on the side of it you will see there is a truss that is drain and you will see there is mountains as well so just know that's the trade wall of china so make sure you know its name make sure you know its picture as well <clears throat> so make sure you understand which country we find this um icon which is we find it in the in china the city that we find it in china which is we find it in beijing uh in which continent uh which is which is in in asia so those are the things that are important that will most of the time question are asked on the name the picture uh, and the country the city that is in the continent so the type of attraction which is usually it's rare that is being asked but you have to know it so it's a man-made we know that when it's man-made there is human involvement in making that it's a man-made which is this uh, wall was made by humans involvement so the tourist profile meaning that the tourists that usually can come to the trade wall of china are the tourists that are interested in finding more information about the culture of the chinese uh in beijing and also find more information about the leisure leisure uh meaning that they can go and uh, relax and have uh, quality time with their family friends so leisure enjoy swimming everything that will relax their minds and also the type of tourists that visit there it's architectural those who are interested in terms of to see how this trait wall was designed the structure of it and tourists that are interested in history and seven wonders of the world so those are the kind of tourist profile that visit this area okay so in terms of the description so description as we know that it's something that tells you more of the inside of what is the place about what is offered there uh, a question will require to tell us uh, maybe give us why this area is an icon so you can also use this as an why this area is an icon as well mm. and some so this area um trade wall it dates back uh 200 years ago so it's the oldest wall in the world and it's one of the oldest and one of the longest so that's why it was selected as an icon because it's a it was used as a defensive uh structure used as a defensive structure okay so this area it's it's not only a symbol of uh, of chinese history and culture it's not only for these things it's not only known for the culture of of chinese and the history but it is also a testimony a testimony uh that prove that there was uh ancient uh chinese so there were older people and uh, that were living here and this determines it tells more that uh the chinese engineering have skills because they were able to build what to build this straight wall so it in terms of the icon it's an icon because it it's a testimony of the ancient chinese uh, people and also it determine it shows that uh chinese have skills their engineering has skills in building uh this area is also um one of the greatest one of the oldest as well so most of the uh of this uh area 
because there is there is also most of the trade wall the existence meaning that the area that is existed now today was built uh, during the Ming dynasty so the Ming dynasty uh, it was in 1368 to 1644 uh, Ming dynasty and also this trade wall in terms of the size from the east to west uh it is size it's 8850 kilometers on the side so on the side so on the side of east to west uh it stretches eight and eight thousand eight hundred and fifty uh long mutebai so it crosses mountains there is a mountain that it crosses there is deserts as well there is grasslands that is uh that is being thrust um from east to west in in making of it and also the um there were watchtowers that were built uh during that time uh on the walls those watchtowers uh they were built uh to serve as a lookout to look in terms of what is coming so they can see what is coming from far so and also those um those watchtowers they were also built to store like uh, military uh, suppliers so they put the military military staff uh, so that they can see the invaders that will come uh, in china in a distance so they can shoot them so the way that they can use as we indicated there so this this wall was far from east to west so they had to communicate so the, they send messages to this uh, in terms of long distance so they use flags so there would be flag on the other side and that flag those ones that are on the side they will know that that flag that is put there it indicates maybe there is people that are coming or the red there is danger and also sometimes they use fire so the fire symbolize something uh, so they also use the smoke signal so they use the smoke signal so the they, these are were the ways of communicating so if you can ask them which ways that they were used in in the great wall to communicate among each other so it was flag fire and smoke uh, watchtower was built for uh, military and also lookout so it was built 1368 and um so who built this straight wall or uh, wall of china it was uh, uh, thousands of soldiers were part of it in building it and they were prisoners as well so those prisoners maybe they were looking after these soldiers uh, so the, these soldiers were looking after these prisoners and they were peasants um peasants people meaning the lower class people uh they were there and the lower class people peasants it's lower uh rural areas like farmers uh, so they were used in uh, in building this wall so it is believed that um there were a lot of people that uh died it's about one million people that died um that died during the building of the drate wall and there is the hence there is a name of it and uh, that is called the longest uh cemetery on earth because there were a lot of people that died it is believed they were buried so imagine uh, one million people died so that's why there is a nickname that is used to call it the longest cemetery thank you